Hi, everyone. I'm here again with David Wright. David is at our studio in Carson City at Fitness for 10, where he is a personal trainer. Thanks for being with us, David. Thanks for having me, Steve. All right. We're going to talk about something that bugs me a lot, and that's um, fitness influencers or anyone. You might see a an ad on television of selling a multiple vitamin where these might be massive companies or really popular fitness influencers just selling absolute crap. It bugs me. And um, I'll let you go first. Yeah, Steve, I mean, I, I couldn't agree more. It really bothers me too. In fact, you know, when I started out in the fitness industry and before I competed in things like that, there was... I, I had no knowledge really of half of this stuff. So, you know, you see all these things online, this supplement here, this workout plan over there, this great quiz you take to, you know, lead to some, you know, miracle of a, of a workout plan that's going to get you fit in 30 days, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, so there's all sorts of stuff. And that was back then when there wasn't as much, you know, thousands probably of channels and, and companies and that kind of stuff. So it drives me nuts because, you know, a lot of what people try to do is they try to look like that spokesperson, fitness model, influencer, whatever the case might be, by doing this certain program or buying this supplement that's, you know, whatever dollar amount worth of basically garbage. And it's never going to work for them. So it kind of puts a stain on the whole fitness industry, even though like, services like myself as a personal trainer, um, you know, our gym here, which is a great gym, like people don't even want to go there because they've kind of been burnt by these things that just don't work, you know? Yeah. So let's get into, let me get into a few things to look for, or let's say to look out for. Um, and these are easy for me. I mean, I've been doing this all my life, you know, 50 years I've been buying stuff to test out, but I'm going to give you a few things to look for. Uh, the first, you got to realize that the retired um, NFL player or the retired Major League Baseball player who is telling you that this product is going to increase your testosterone, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they're lying. It's not going to do that. And I'm not naming names or how about the fitness influencer that looks really good. All that person is, is a model. They do not look that way because of a supplement that they're taking that is garbage. So that's the first thing. If they're saying that, oh, it did this or it did that for them. No, it didn't. And this goes back to the 70s, reading muscle magazines where the guy on the cover uses this. Pr no, he's not. He's, he might be using that, but he's on a buttload of gear. That's the reason he looks the way he looks. And he works out five hours a day and that's his job or her job. It's not because they took this special whey protein or special this or that, or this testosterone booster. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. So that's the first thing to be skeptical of. One of the other things is um, a formula that's proprietary. We can't tell you how much of each thing that's in here because it's a secret. Don't buy stupid secrets. Do not buy that. There's not enough of anything in it. If you're not going to tell me what's in it and how much is in it, I'm not buying it. And I recommend that no one does. Don't do that. The other thing is a lot of um, products have the whole formula and they, they have what's in it, but it's not enough. So it might be something to for prostate health and it might have eight things in it. Those might be four or five really effective ingredients, but there's not enough in it. So you have to do your own research. You might buy a, a formula that's for prostate health and it might have saw palmetto in it. Well, do your own research on saw palmetto and see what you think about it and then buy enough to get a therapeutic response from your body. 
You have to take enough of it. It might have beta sterol in it. So check the ingredients. If it's a heart formula, does it have hawthorn berry in it? Okay, go research hawthorn berry. If it's a pre-workout drink, does it have citrulline in it? What does citrulline do? Why would I take it? So take these things separately and you might pay a little more, but you're going to get more and you won't be wasting your money. So do your own research. That's really important, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, we've gotten as a society into, well, at least doing a better job most of the time uh, with, you know, our food ingredients, our nutrition labels, kind of understanding, well, hey, we should look at these and see, you know, is there high fructose corn syrup in there and all these other things that we've been now told, hey, you should look at this label to see what's in it. So now what we need to do, you know, on the, on the fitness side, or even if you're not in the fitness side and you're just trying to get healthy, trying to take these vitamins, supplements, whatever, do the same thing what's in it. And if you don't know what that is, find out what it is. And is it something you want in your body? Because similar to processed foods and things like that, supplements are the exact same idea where, yeah, it might have that one ingredient you've been kind of going, yeah, my doctor said, you know, I, I need to take this, but you don't look at all the other things. And again, also the amount of whatever that vitamin or mineral is that you're trying to get. So not only might you not be getting enough, but you're also ingesting other things with it that are probably less than ideal. It's better, you know, obviously with less, uh, you know, additives within any supplement, just like it is with food. Um, and then, you know, does it have enough? So that's really important for people to, similar to how we do with food, you know, most people can look at it and go, ah, you know, the high fructose corn syrup thing, I really think I've heard all these terrible things, I'm probably not gonna buy it. You know, go to your supplements, look at the stuff that's in there. And then, like you said, do your research, figure out what those things are. And if you want to ingest those things, is it going to benefit you? Is it just a filler, which 99% of the time it is? Um, because they just, you know, that's how the companies make a lot of money is, you know, empty promises and basically an empty pill or capsule because you got this much of whatever you're looking for and this much of just nothingness. Um, and so it's going to be a waste of money and time and sometimes can be detrimental to your health in a way because you're ingesting who knows what with that little bit of, you know, mineral that you're getting in that supplement. So it's always good to be prepared and do your own research. Yeah. And don't buy something just because the model or the fitness influencer who looks phenomenal tells you that it works or that they take that or that's how they look the way they look. That is not the reason to buy something because look marketing companies aren't stupid they're not going to put an obese person out front and tell you to take this weight loss product and you know what it might be a product that works but they're not going to take someone who's obese who's 150 200 pounds overweight put them on camera and tell them here's what i take to look like this so you get my point any last thoughts, David? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really, you know, it's a genius marketing uh, ploy for all of those companies. But, you know, as a consumer, as, you know, somebody who's looking for, you know, the right things and wanting to do the right things for themselves, the best thing that you can do is do your research and don't just buy something because a, a model influencer or even, you know, a company itself promotes such a great product and, you know, do the research and determine for yourself if that's something that you should be ingesting. That's going to help you a lot more in the long run. Yeah. And the last thing I'll say is this is something that's huge. So there's hundreds of millions of people out there that these influencers can rip off. You know, it's not like a neighborhood business. If you're a mechanic and every time somebody from your neighborhood brings your car, brings their car in and you ruin it and it doesn't work, you're going to be out of business. Mm -hmm. But there's plenty of people out there that will say, hey, that person looks really good. I'm going to buy that product because I want to look like that person. So unfortunately, the market is so huge, they can do this for a long, long time before people realize uh, and everyone starts saying this doesn't work. So, yep. uh, David, if uh, you, you're doing uh, some bodybuilding competitions and so on, if people want to follow you on social media, how do they do that? 
Yeah, that's right, Steve. So if they want to follow kind of my progress and my journey through the show, my personal Instagram page is at David Wright underscore fitness. And then my new personal training page I put together, fitness tips, boot camp, things like that. It's going to be at Wright Fitness Training on Instagram. All right. We'll see you next time. All right.